Here is a teensy reflection of the Vail Mountain Days art show. Yeah, I've been, since I retired, I retired in 1966. That's second career. Yeah, photographs of the people. And I really only, I, I can only do it with, for people who have lots of rumples and bumbles and get shadows. And... Because it was very expensive to get oil paints in Africa, you had to adapt to what was available locally. So actually batik and fabric paints were easily available. So this is actually a fabric paint and I love design. I like using different media. I like experimenting. These are my daughters. Uh, again in fabric, because again it's African and it's easy to find fabric and it's easy to find the dyes. This is Keith Hydern. The, the first one here was inspired by watching the Olympics. Sure, and I had the TV in the background I turned quickly and I just caught a camera they had sort of down at the level of, of really just boot level. So it just it might, came to my mind, well balloons kind of fit all the colors she had. And I said, well contrast it with a thunderstorm so the title of it is light and heavy. Um, I love elk because they're so majestic and they hold their head up. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and safety is doing this absolutely wonderful thing. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, this is a real story uh, of my wife's grandfather. It's good story for the kids, but it's good story for the adults too. You know, like uh, economy is kind of not bad like this time, but very similar. Photograph, the thing is already there. So, you want something that isn't actually out there. <laughs> it's better if you just sort of fling it on. You know, it'll come out right anyway. Everybody has this ability to uh, to do things that are right. You know, what are they there? Oh no, 80, 84. So this is Margaret McCurdy, and how old are you, Margaret? 88. Sure. Uh, it's just a picture I got and copied a picture. That was filmed by reporter Ray Virgo. Now, last week, he also went to a local campground to get visitors' impressions of Veilmount and see how tourism is doing this summer. My wife Janet and I are uh, uh, vacationing right now here in Vailmont. We're from Winnipeg, Manitoba. Okay. Oh, I love it here. It's about, uh, we've been coming through the mountains for vacations now for, you know, 20 some odd years. And we came through Vailmont and we actually started looking at our retirement here. So we, uh, we bought some property here to, and put it away for our retirement. And uh, we'll be building there uh, our, our home. Uh, as soon as we can manage to separate ourselves from the big city work and uh, go in there. And you just, there's nothing like being in a natural setting where it's quiet and you're right close to the, uh, the natural being and the natural world. And right here in Vailmont, there's nothing better. Nothing better. I mean, I'll volunteer and help out in the community and, and do what I can. And uh, you know, I'll keep myself busy somehow. We don't have to think so big about large projects to get smaller projects going, you know, because people are coming here and, they, and they're, they're looking for different things. And I think that, you know, they've got the natural setting, they've got the quads, they've got the snowmobiles in the winter time, but they need, uh, you know, there's people that come here like, you know, the bus tours and that, that need something else, right? So we need to start thinking about those folks and uh, what we could offer them when they come here to Vailmont. He mentioned to me that one of the projects we're looking at was a penitentiary. So my own personal uh, comment, we don't need a penitentiary here. That's the last thing we should be putting in here. Okay. Zip line is a hot thing. Oh. Young kids, you know, with families with young uh, with young ones and even young teens and whatnot, that's that's the thing for them. They want the thrill, you know what I mean? So I mean, not all of them can have quads or whatever, so they can get on a zip line and zip through the forest. That's a great thing. I've, I've seen one in action and it's a lot of fun. I have something for the people to do when they get here. And I think you just need to pull together as a community and think in that way, you know? And the people that have been here for a you know, long time, residents who've been here, you know, back when it was a logging town and everything else, they don't realize what they got here, I don't think. It's a real jewel, real jewel. There's nothing else better than right here in Vailmont. We figure approximately 25% better. It's improved due to uh, return customers. But live in the city, Edmonton, Kamloops, Vancouver, they've been here. It's a central location. 
The return customers, they come with more people each time. They book for longer lengths of time. Sometimes it takes them three days to, just to settle down, to unwind. And then they enjoy it for three or four more days. The year it's up 25%. This is a record weekend? This it is. This is the July is. 1st long weekend? It is so. And you're having a... Just a great time. Everybody loves it. They like the space. They like the quiet amenities around. There's a couple in right now booking with uh, Tony Parisi's uh, riding. We're going horse ri horseback riding. They're going to go out there and spend the afternoon if they, if they can. or They'll stay another day if they have to. Just to stay on the Ray theme, here's his tape of Hey Romeo's open air concert in June. The birds are up there singing in the trees The morning paper's in the drive and I've rubbed sleep out of my eyes And it's looking like a brand new day to me But it feels like So uh, come on Find up. some sunglasses and we'll be right back. <laughs> we'll be right back, folks.